Ah, surviving in space. Hello, people. Salut les gens. Welcome. Jolta's here. I hope every. Damn it! Gonna have to start getting working on those if I want to go back in space. <laughs> here we go. So, what I was asking you as I were telling is, I'm hoping you guys are doing good today. <laughs> Before I got interrupted, Jelta is here. I thought I'd end this video with doing a, a little tour of the three planets and their moons, or the planets anyways. Uh, as you can see, I find this beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's awesome. Uh, really, I wasn't expecting this with the planet update. Now... I do want to apologize for the bit of lagging. Uh, I am in full blast graphic wise and I am in spectating mode so that doesn't help. There's a bit way more lag when you're going at 3000 miles an hour if I may say when you're not, you know, lags way less when you're gaming. This is spectating mode and the game's in development so you, you know, I apologize for that. Don't have the biggest computer either but you know, whatever. So I just wanted to show you this, or not the ground, not the pixel ground but I find it awesome that you can move from the ground of the planet Earth to the ground of Mars without one loading screen, uh, bug, lag, or anything, you know? Uh, that's really, really awesome. So you go right through the atmosphere and there's no problem. It's really well made. Like I said, I wasn't expecting this with the planets update now on Space Engineers. Uh, I, did, I think they did a really good job. There's more work to be done, but it's an awesome, motivating start. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show you something else on Mars here. An obelisk like this has been found. Now this is a neutral item. You can't build this. You can copy it. Uh, that's about as much as I know. I don't know if there's some on any other planets. I'm not the one that found it. I don't know what the inscription means. Here's the size of a space engineer beside it. Let me also show you where it is on Mars if you want to check it out or built beside it or so I don't know. I love the mystery behind this obelisk. As you can see, all you got to do on Mars is find the biggest crater or mountain and that's where it is. So yeah. I don't think there's one on, on uh, every planet though. I think it's a Mars thing. Okay, now let's go check out the alien planet right here, which is a bit further. It's uh, further than any other planet. And uh, it's pretty as well. Uh, let's try to go in without too much lag. I apologize. I, it's not as fluid as I'd love it to be for you guys. But yeah, it looks pretty cool and greenish, alien-like. Love it. Uh, I do understand there's enemies, a lot of enemies on this one, so come prepared when you want to come explore this planet. That's also cool. There are drones now that are seeking to kill you. Let's just see. Yeah, normally, yeah, the tree should render in. I, we did come from Mars right now, so <laughs> got to give it a break. But yeah, looks really cool. I mean, look at that view and these mountains. Looks really awesome. I got the sun moving a bit faster than it normally does to, you know, get the effect there. But uh, I found this, these planets really cool. I might put the mode with the other planets on eventually, but uh, looks cool. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Love that. I really have the, you know, even though the planets aren't in a rotation or anything, it really is pretty, at least the sun turns around the planets. <laughs> and here we are back on Earth, I fixed up my ship. This ship was taken on the workshop and, and I then modified it a lot because it's an old version so I'll leave the description below if you guys want to get this ship and modify it yourself hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of space engineers I really love playing this game even though sometimes the building aspect is a bit complicated it's really fun well made enjoy guys see you on the next video and have fun hope you guys enjoyed Jelta's out going to new adventures